All right, yet again today we are out here at the big old saltwater pier and we're gonna be doing another experiment. If you haven't seen the last video, we came out here and we caught and cooked this. A few videos back, we caught and cooked this. It is always a mystery what will happen out here on the pier and today we are Scooby-Doo. Let's say the bait shop is closed or there just is none. You're hungry and you wanna go fishing. Can you stop at a fast food restaurant and accomplish everything? Today we are out here all these saltwater pier with a Happy Meal. We got some nuggets, we got some fries, and we got a juice box. Can you catch saltwater fish on fast food? That is a question. And we've got some bait, we've got two rods, we got some stuff in the bag. We're gonna be doing a lot of fishing. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It's kind of supposed to rain in a couple hours, but it looks pretty good right now. So let's get down there. Doesn't look too packed. Let's get this day started, man. Today is a freaking gorgeous day. You can kind of see the wind right there on the flag. It's whipping a little bit, but it is like, it just feels good. Like it is not toasty at all. Nice overcast, like a cool breeze coming off the water. Look at this freaking tangle of bird's nest. If you've been watching the videos, we'd be using this uh, float rig, trout rig, whatever you want to call it. We're not really going to be using that today, at least to start off the day, but that is just, a, we got to cut that. <laughs> all right, let's see if we could break the record for most weird looks gotten on the fishing pier. So here's a happy meal. It was expensive. Like McDonald's is taxing these days. Four nuggets, small fry, and hello. What is this? What is that? We'll open that up later. The Marvel. Oh, I don't. I don't know. Ooh, still warm too. It's hot and ready for him. So here's the thing, right? If you guys are OGs on my channel, we've fished with fast food and like a bunch of different types of fast food, but in the fresh water. And I'm not gonna lie, man. Bluegill will kind of just eat like literally anything. I think we kind of figured that out. Will these saltwater fish? eat this stuff man do they like chicken will this even stay on the hook very well probably not too good oh boy hold on maybe the actual chicken will yeah there we go I'm just gonna kind of have to peel this breading off a little bit and I say like will they eat this chicken nugget but is this really even chicken <laughs> that's the real question that's the real science all right so this is what we're gonna be starting out with this is a sabiki rig there are six hooks and they're tiny hooks and they're all at different parts of the water column and we have a little tiny piece of nugget on there. I'm just gonna drop this down. We are going to see, first of all, if there's any fish. Also, oh, it looked like one of the nugget pieces came off. Let's just see if anything will eat this, man. I'm actually really curious. The thing is too, if we can get something to bite this, I have a different rig that possibly might catch us some bigger fish with this McDonald's, so. Let's see if anything will eat this real quick. All right, it's been about 25 seconds, no nugget nibbles. Oh, 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 oh. Do we have fish on there? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Bro. I'm not even gonna lie, that looked like a little pompano. though. Something bit it, dude. I don't know if I still have chicken on there. Let's take a look real quick. Two hooks only. Very interesting. The thing about chicken too, like we've used chicken in saltwater before in like crab traps and stuff. Like we know crabs like it. I mean, they like anything. They really like stealing our bait, that's for sure. I gotta go crabbing again, man. Now again, if you guys aren't familiar with the sabiki rig, you can catch fish, like bait fish on this and fish without bait on it. I don't know if you can kind of see right there. Some of them have fish skin on them. Some of them have uh, like foil and stuff just to look like bait fish. Most of the time doing that, you have to like be jigging the sabiki to make it kind of look like bait. You know what I mean? Stuff is freaking biting this. It's just like, it doesn't stay on the hook. The chicken, like shrimp doesn't stay on the hook very well, but chicken, this nugget's even worse. freaking messing with me dude i'm just excited that it's actually working come on take it there we go there we go there we go <laughs> all right man there we go first fish of the day this is probably what bit us at first we're gonna let that dude go right there 
A lot of you guys told me, ah, oh, dude, I forget. What the heck is the name of that fish? People here call it, like the slang term for it is butterfish. Okay, I just looked at what y'all said. Apparently it's called an Atlantic bumper. Today the water clarity isn't like super great, but the other day, like just everywhere there were pop, 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 big schools of those things. Oh man, all right. I'll cast around the, uh, the, the, the nugget on the sabiki a little bit more, but I have a different rig that I think might work a little bit better because I feel like those things are down here and down here thick. So we'll try to get away from them a little bit. All right, now we keep getting stolen here. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but today, of course, we got our juicy, fresh live shrimp from the bait shop right there. We're just going to be putting a little piece of these on the sabikis. And again, this is a saltwater pier. Like you, you'd never know. Exotic fish, alien fish. There's whiting out here, bluefish, trout, sharks, ribbon fish. The list goes on. So right now this is just shrimp. And there's a few that have the nugget, the nugget lasted. We're just gonna try the shrimp real quick. See what else is around. If we're just catching a bunch of those like bumper fish dudes, we're gonna put the different rig on, but it's fun to just test the waters, you know? Today could be a whole new different abundance of stuff here than there were the other day, you know what I'm saying? What is that? Oh, did I lose him? <sighs> Dude, I think that was a trout. Dang it. He just kind of flopped off. That happens with sabikis. These hooks are super tiny. And sometimes you just don't get the best set or kind of comes off when you're reeling it up. That's kind of cool though. That really wasn't a bluefish. I think that was a trout or a ladyfish. What is that? Okay. Tiny. Chill, buddy. All right, boom. There we go. I want to say, is that a weak fish? Ooh, he pooped on me a little bit. There's a little tooth, a little toofer right there. <laughs> that's a nice tooth, buddy. I think that's a weak fish. Oh, there he goes. That might have been what bit us earlier and got off. I don't think that's a trout, is it? Or is that just a small trout? I don't really know. If you guys know, please leave it down in the comment section below. Well, hey, well, that was cool. Got any other homies hanging out down here? Try to, hold on, there's a piling right over here. Let's see. Maybe we get another spade fish or something. Right there. Come on, fish. Juicy, tiny shrimp. I just want to say thank you real quick to all y'all who've been rocking with the videos recently and uh appreciate all the freaking support um we're gonna be doing other stuff not just pure fishing but this is yeah i don't know if you guys could tell this is a lot of fun for me so on the channel you know we like to switch it up do a bunch of different stuff this has my heart right now what I, what can i say i'm on something by this man sheep's head angel fish Snapper. All right, let's move it away from the piling, maybe. Oh, yeah, I've said this before, but don't sleep on small rigs like this, like tiny hooks. Tiny baits, tiny hooks, they can catch big fish. I've caught a lot of Spanish mackerel on uh, little sabikis like this, kind of jigging them around. Now that the sun's out, I will say this water is not very clear at all. If you guys remember last video, last time we came out here, this was like see through, especially at like a lower tide like this. It's definitely clouded up a little bit. It's been raining, so I guess that makes sense. Oh my God. Dude, we 
Give me some of the big. Wait a second, what the heck? What? How the heck did we hook this dude in the freaking top of his butt? <laughs> Look at the hook. There we go. Oh jeez, trying not to get spiked. All right, and boom. This is, I believe, the third species of the day. Yo, there he goes. That is a silver perch, I believe. One of my favorite things about coming to the pier and doing this kind of fishing is just you never know what's down there, man. You never know what will bite. All right, I'll do a few more casts. Cut up the shrimp a little. No clue how that happened. We almost hooked the dude in his dumpy. Oh, the juice box. Bro, that thing's gonna get hot. Hold on. Where'd I put that? Ooh. I love me some apple juice. Hopefully my rod doesn't go freaking over there. Ooh, that's definitely interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's one of those. I'm gonna bring this down to the end. These things are crazy looking, huh? Yeah. Know what it is? Uh, ribbon fish. Yeah. There you go. go. Crazy teeth. Oh. <laughs> I guess I'll walk it down. They probably appreciate that, huh? It's a long walk. <laughs> Sick, dude. Wow. All right. This is like premiere kingfish bait we're gonna go give it to somebody to see if they can catch something on it if you guys haven't seen a couple videos ago I mean, look how crazy it looks like metallic i did a uh, catching coach just a weird 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 i mean so shimmery how's it gone in a future video hopefully we're gonna get out here i have to get the gear but we're gonna try to catch some big big fish on the end of the pier And I'm hoping this is gonna get uh, me into some good graces with the, the locals down here. Anybody want this? Ribbon? It's a nice one though. Yeah? That's a fine one. No one really wants it? Nobody wants a ribbon fish? Nope. I'm all right. Yep. Everybody's got paper. Won't be long. That was a little weird. So we brought it down to the end. I guess they all had bait though. Whew, all right, it's a little bit later. We kind of switched some stuff up. I was talking to one of y'all. Appreciate, it's just so cool. Like, whenever I see one of you guys out here, and say what's up and we get to talking. So here's the rig real quick. This is just a live shrimp on a leader, small hook, swivel, and then got a little one ounce egg weight. I'm just gonna try something, man. I'm trying to cast this under the pier a little bit kind of if you can see all right there we go gopro just shut off literally as i cast that as i was talking i feel like i always get bit whenever that happens and it's so sad because y'all don't see it i might have gotten taken already let's see yep nope wait nope still got a shrimp on there switch this rod up and now we are actually using our second rod which for some reason I never use I kind of neglect it but it's an insurance policy in case like I don't know this one goes over or something right now we actually have I, I cast it in because I was talking to somebody I'll show you in here a second but this is like a pompano rig so it's got the two hooks they're a little bit bigger than the sabikis and they kind of have floats so they're not on the very bottom and we cast it out with chicken nuggets I'm just seeing something we're getting a bit up close, and a lot of those, um, what are they called, bumper fish? Those dudes are like thick down here, so I'm casting away a little bit, a little bigger hooks. See if anything will eat that, maybe like a, uh, I don't know, whiting, bluefish. 
at the end of the day, it's like meat, right? Well, I don't know if it actually is, but you would hope something will eat that. Maybe crabs will. We'll have to check here in a second. Hopefully not crabs. Just kind of want to see if anything will eat this down below the pier, though. No back in Delaware. This is kind of like the best way to pier fish if you're fishing for certain things. Just under the pilings, near the structure. Live shrimp. Well, back then we used like live minnows, but same thing, right? Same kind of juiciness. Honestly, this might even be juicier. All right, just casted that out a little bit. We're just gonna let this sit. Both these rods. Ugh, we're gonna chill for a sec. Both these rods in the water. Actually, let's see if there's even anything on this one. Ooh, we had no chicken on there. Real quick, I'm just gonna put two pieces of shrimp like that and just see if anything's down there so this rig kind of if you, if you haven't seen this before there's a weight and then there's two hooks kind of like a high low rig and these floats just kind of float that bait up off the bottom and they're different heights so toss this out see if anything is down might be worth throwing this near the piling if you were uh, wondering about the fries that came in the Happy Meal too, like, oh, why aren't you ch chucking the fries out? Dude, they do not stay on the hook. I tried it, it just, it's not gonna happen. Dude, on the chicken? On the chicken. On the chicken. Wait, what is that? Oh, no, wait, this wasn't the chicken. I forgot. I switched out there. Dude, that's so cool. I switched out um, to the shrimp. I just want to see if anything will bite this rig. That's crazy. That's a little pompano. Pompano bit the pompano rig. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is one of my first ones ever. This is, I think, what, number three? Tiny little baby. They got some serious spikes down there on the bottom, but cool, man. Again, it has to be 11 inches um, to keep. I would love to find one that I could keep, but that dude is like not even maybe half that. Still so cool to catch. That's the thing, I, I keep saying it. It's a cool thing about coming to the pier. You never know. All right, before I put the chicken nugget back on, hold on, let's just get one more shrimp again shout out to circle hooks that worked perfectly hooked himself all right real quick let's just see if anything else hits this hey, i don't even think i cast it out that far i think it was like right there What does this species count up to today? In the back of my mind, I'm like, dude, yeah, today isn't like the craziest, best day of fishing, but we've caught a lot of stuff. I just think it's in my mind, it's like we haven't caught it on the actual chicken itself, which is dumb because it's just an experiment. No offense to the experiment. Like it's, you know, in the name of science. Yeah, I don't know. These nuggets aren't very sturdy. These shrimp are getting sturdy though, and I reached into that bucket, man. They were freaking ration i don't know if i still have a shrimp on this ray one again though, that's just funny man we caught a pompano on the pompano rig and this isn't even like the time of year i've been talking to some people it's just every time you come to the pier you learn more stuff and like yeah this isn't the best time to catch pompano but i guess they're still kind of around at least the smaller ones are the guy told me that ribbon fish shouldn't really be here too much longer either but i don't know we caught one today and while i was talking to somebody else i learned that yeah ribbon fish aren't the best bait to use on a day like this like that's more for choppy water because this thing's croak pretty quick so i guess once you rig it and you cast it out there when it's choppier it'll kind of like look like it's alive kind of dance a little bit more 
that makes any sense? Knowledge in the bank. I'm telling you, one of these days we're going to be very wealthy when it comes to knowledge. <laughs> Hopefully. I'll put this back down. Whoa. That was embarrassing. I just got scared by a shrimp. I thought he was dead. And I touched him and he freaking foiled. <laughs> I'll probably look like a very interesting dude. Getting scared by a shrimp. I got a happy meal sitting here with my juice box. <laughs> Is that why nobody's fishing right next to me? Here's a quick update. Again, today it's supposed to be cloudy and rain. I don't really see. Oh. Did that just move? It sounded like it moved. Not too many people out here right now. There's definitely some clouds in the distance, but no immediate threat. Let me know if you guys want to see this video also, like with some other kind of food or uh, fast food or. <laughs> I don't know. It's just interesting, you know? If you guys haven't seen- We fished with uh, freshwater worms, like worms that you'd use for freshwater here at this pier. So if you haven't seen that video, go make sure to go check that out. And also we fished from the surf with freshwater fish with bluegills. So that was pretty freaking interesting as well. If you guys haven't seen those videos, make sure to go check them out. I just, I, I don't know. I like these experiment videos. You guys seem to like them as well. While we're waiting here with these rigs in the water, let's just take a look real quick. I don't ever remember getting like, a good toy for McDonald's besides like remember back in the day when they used to have like Pokemon like cards and stuff and Burger King had some cool stuff I don't know who this is that's the fish dance right there whoa did y'all see that shark or bluefish what Look at this. Clean cut. That was right after we did the fish dance, the toy. All right, so the question of will fast food catch saltwater fish? We already knew it would catch freshwater fish. Yes, but like with an asterisk, it's not the best. I would not recommend it unless it's like you have absolutely nothing else. Maybe you got no bait, you got like an old nugget under your seat or in the car or something. I don't know. It just falls off easy. Will they eat it? Yes. Let me know. Should we keep up these experiments? I'm having fun. It seems like you guys really enjoy them and uh, yeah man, I, I'm loving it being out on the pier. It's so much fun. We're gonna do some other stuff like I said, but I'm just having a blast. So thank you guys again so much for all the freaking support. Let's keep this rolling, man. Thank you guys for watching. You See you next video. Well.